Hello fish keepers. Well today I'm going to show you how to spray paint a tank. And pretty much we're going to take a regular tank like this one that I found on the side of the road and spray paint it like this one. So the back and the bottom of the tank will be black. Simple. This is a very simple process. So let me grab my stuff, set up the tripod and I will show you the way that I spray paint my tank. First thing you're gonna need is some glass cleaner. I use the wipes. You can use Windex, you can use vinegar, whatever you want. So, we're gonna clean the glass, and then we're gonna wipe the glass nice and clean. Now, get a regular paper towel and wipe the glass clean. What you're trying to make sure is that the glass on the outside before you put the paint is clean so any markings, any dirt will show through the inside. I mean, it's going in the fish room. A lot of people are not going to look at it, but I'm going to look at it. It's going to go in video, so I want to make sure that the entire glass that I'm going to spray paint, which is the top side and the bottom, is nice and clean. So now, let's get the spray paint. So, this is the spray paint that I use. Um, nothing fancy. It's just a normal sp spray paint. Black. I like the color black in my fish room, so that's what I'm going to use. And we're just going to start spray painting it. It will take about three to four coats. The first coat is going to be a very light coat for then the rest of the paint to keep sticking onto it. So first coat was a very light coat and the reason I did that is because I like for the rest of the paint to have some surface to stick on. And then we're just going to continue. We want to make sure that when you look at it from the inside, you won't see nothing but just black. doesn't have to be perfect. I really don't care if there's any little bit of overspray on the side. There are going to be more tanks connected to it when I line them up in the fish room. So let's start with a second coat. Now when I do the second coat, you know the little edges right there, all those edges, I make sure I get it really good. I want the paint to go a little bit in there, so whenever the lights from the other tank that are going to be in the bottom won't reflect through it. So now we, let this to, we leave this to dry for about 15 minutes, then we come back for the third coat. So the second coat's been sitting on it for about 10-15 minutes. Now we're going to do a nice heavy third coat on it. Get the surface nice and black, and we should be done. I'm gonna look at it from the inside, make sure no light goes through it. If it works, we're done. If not, we'll give it a fourth coat. So here comes the moment of truth. Is it three or is it four coats? Let's see. What you wanna do? You wanna look at it from the inside. Damn. Yeah, I know this tank's dirty. Like I told you, I found it. It will get clean later. I just wanted to get it painted. And no light. No light goes through it. Put your hand underneath it. It's perfect. What I do, I let it bake out here in the sun for a little while. Then I clean the tank and put it in my fish room. Like you know, we've been building the fish room, and this is one of the steps of us building the fish room. We're gonna get all the tanks painted, the backs and the bottom. And I just wanted to show you guys a little bit on how the way we do it here at Royal Fish Aquatic. 
So again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, hit that bell, hit the like button, share it. Too. Check us out on Facebook, Royal Fish Aquatic on Facebook. And like always, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you for watching Royal Fish Aquatics. You guys have a good day.